Hello everyone, it's Scott here and welcome to the next lesson. Um, in this lesson we're going to be looking at setting up our bullet so that we can actually um, have a bullet that will travel in a direction and be able to hurt players and so on, um, or enemies. So let's actually just do a quick recap of what we've done so far uh, in terms of this section. So we've looked at creating uh, some player movement using, um, I'll just actually bring it up in script. So let's look at our player script. So we have some input events. So whenever the W or S key is being pressed and held down, then it's transforming a translate, which means it's going to move the owner, which is the player, in either Z, 0 0.1, so forward, or backwards. And then we have this ray cast, which is what we've done in the previous lesson. So it looks to see where the mouse is looking. It then modifies those values of the position of the, the mouse so that it's not going to move it up and down on Y. And then it, it uh, converts that into a vector 3. And then it will um, make the, the player look at wherever the mouse is looking. And then in our level script, um, we also have, let's see what we have here. This is the, oh, which one was this? This was the camera movement. So what it's doing is it's taking the position of our player and it's it's converting that into a vector three, which is just three values. And then we're offsetting the Z value so that the camera will move back a bit. And so wherever the, the, the player is, the camera will follow it while offsetting the, the Z value. So it will, it'll basically make the, the, the camera follow the, the, the player. So now let's look at bullet spawning. I'm just going to press no in here. So we first of all need to make a new prefab for our bullet. So to do this, we're going to make a new cube. Game object, create other cube. This one's quite big, so we're just going to scale it down. Like so. It's going to type in some values. 0 0.2 It's probably a bit big, so let's try 0 0.1. 0 0.1 and about point five okay so this is going to be our bullet and on x we want to make sure that's set to zero on y we're going to set to zero and on z we're going to set to zero as well okay then i'm just going to move that forward a wee bit it doesn't really matter where it goes to but just to make sure that's spawning kind of from roughly the middle of of this guy here okay so with that we're now going to um we're going to make a new material so we're going to go into materials um, we're going to right click create a material m underscore bullet so this is going to be a color for our um, bullet we're going to change this to a specular we're going to make it some sort of a reddish color and under specular color i might change this to maybe a, a purpley color whatever you prefer and we're going to drag that onto the bullet okay so that's our our new bullet okay and we're going to rename this object, this cube, to bullet. Now, we're going to go to tags. Tags is kind of like the, the grouping of our, our object. Now, we don't have one called bullets. So we're going to go add tag and we're going to make a new one. Under element zero, we're going to type in bullet. And that's how we add a new tag. And a tag is just going to be used for um, kind of collision detection later on, okay? So we're going to go back to our bullet and under tag we're going to choose bullet and then the next thing we need to do is we need to apply some gravity or sorry not gravity but physics to this object and this is going to work for the collision as well so whenever it detects a player or an enemy it uses physics to actually do the detection so under physics we need to add a rigid body and we just want to make sure it's not using gravity okay under constraints we want to make sure we freeze the rotation so it won't be able to rotate during um, during gameplay. So with that, that's pretty much our bullet set up in terms of appearance. Now we want to actually make a some logic behind it, okay? So we're going to go to a uh, script. We're going to type in control and new. We're going to hit tools, detox studios and new script. We're going to go file and new and we're going to save this. File and save. We're going to call this a uh, bullet script and under here we're going to make sure we press no it's going to compile the scripts 
need to wait until this is done to do the next step. So the next step is now to actually apply our new script to the bullet. I'm going to go to Component, uh, U Script, Graphs, and Bullet Script. So now our bullet script is now applied to the bullet. Okay. So now the next thing we need to do is we need to go back into U Script, and we need to start actually putting some logic for a bullet. So the first thing a bullet does is whenever it's fired, um, as soon as that prefab is spawned, okay, it's gonna it's gonna be forced out at a at a fast rate, okay. So we're gonna have instead of using an update event, which is every frame something's gonna happen, we're just gonna have a an event called on graph start. As soon as this script is started, whenever the bullet is created, something will happen. So for this, we're gonna type a new script. And we have something called a U script event. So what we have is on graph start, something will happen. And what we want to happen is we want to add relative force, it's called. So we want to add relative force. And we're going to plug that in. Our target is going to be itself. So if you remember back to a previous F lesson, we right click and add a variable, which is just a piece of data. And it's going to be the owner game object. So it's going to be this bullet that spawns and it'll only apply to that specific bullet. Um, in the game, we're going to have lots of bullets spawning. So it, this will only apply to that specific bullet. Okay. I'm going to drag that target into there. Now under force, we need to type in a, um, either, uh, an X, Y, or Z or all three. Um, and I'm just using an example of one I made from earlier, but I think it's slightly different. Um, so on the Z value, we need to make it 1,200 roughly. So that's quite a high amount of force, okay? Now, I'm just going to go File and Save. And wait for it to finish. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is, whenever we fire a bullet, it's gonna, it's gonna keep going. It's gonna keep going into space, okay? But we need to actually destroy this object um, after a certain after a certain amount of time, so what we're going to have is we're going to have a destroy node. So just type uh, destroy. Okay. Now the target is going to be its owner, so it's going to destroy itself. So we're going to put an owner game object. So it's going to destroy itself. Now instead of having as soon as it happens. We need to have have it destroy after a couple of seconds, or maybe after one or two seconds. And in Uscript, this is extremely easy. We just type in delay. A delay is a time event. We'll just click delay. So what's going to happen is on the graph start, it's going to add some force, and it's also going to have a countdown. So after a duration of about one second, after the delay, it will then kill itself, which is very, very easy uh, when you think about it. So at the start, it's adding relative force to itself on a certain axis. After one second, it will then destroy itself. Now you could do this as well if you really wanted, and it doesn't really matter. You could have it something like that as well. It will do the exact same thing. This way is probably a bit more efficient as it's not doing two things after a graph starts. So that's probably the better, cleaner way of doing it. Okay. And we have our grid snapping turned on so you can make everything look quite nice. And that is it really. Okay. So we're going to hit file and save. And that is it for um, our bullet itself. Okay. So we're actually going to do the bullet spawning in a different video. But let's just test this, okay? We're gonna hit play, and you'll see that the bullets already spawned and fired, okay? So we, we didn't see that quick enough, really, but it does work. I'll just hit play again, you can see it happen. There we go. Pew, pew. So um, that's really the bullet working, okay? Um, and other things you could do, um, in fact, we will do this in, we'll actually do it in the next video, but um, you can have like a, a light turn off and on. So as soon as you fire the a light of a bright light will, will turn on. Um, some other things you could do is under your bullet, um, you can actually put in some noise or some audio. So whenever you actually fire the bullet, it'll also play some uh, some bullet firing 
there's lots of stuff you can actually do with this and using new script it's uh, super easy to do and for a script that was only one two three four nodes that's quite a, an easy example of uh, how powerful new script is so again i'll just break down how this works as soon as the object as soon as this bullet starts it adds some relative force to itself in a certain direction after that it um or like immediately after that um there's a duration of one second and after the one second it then destroys itself that duration we could change to maybe 1.5 because we did see it destroy itself halfway down the line so we can change that duration on the fly very easily so that is it for bullet um prefabs and of course because it is a prefab we actually need to make it as a prefab so we're just going to drag this down into here now that's our bullet and that's our player now before we finish we're actually just going to make a new folder called resources and this is something that uh, uscript needs um, to have so we're going to make a folder called resources and this is going to be ex extremely important for spawning bullets in the next one I'm just going to drag our bullet and our player prefab into the resources panel or into the resources folder okay and that is it folks let's make sure everything's fine here perfect okay i will see you in the next video